What's up, y'all? So, right now, I am getting ready to go to my friend Carrie Foe's concert here in LA. It's at the Echo. He said I can bring my camera, so I'm bringing you guys with me. This is what I'm wearing. Sorry if I'm moving too fast, but I gotta go. I got a new tripod, so I'm trying to see, but it's cricket. I don't know about this thing. I don't even know how to straighten it up. That's the, um, I hate this tripod, by the way. Also, I'm taking this shit back tomorrow because I hate it. I'll actually, I'll be back. <clears throat> this is my regular tripod, much better. But um, like I was saying, I'm on my way to uh, my friend Carrie's show. BTW, I found a freaking memory card for my camera that was the same freaking price as my old one in the same store. Just know that my other camera, other memory card only lets me record for um, an hour and 10 minutes. This one says five hours and 30 minutes. Y'all don't understand how frustrated I get with having to switch out memory cards and all the other stuff, but you know what? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so I have a lot going on. So I'm about to get ready to go. I'm dressed. I just need to get my keys and I need to brush my teeth again. My wallet. I have my camera. I'm out of here. See y'all at the show. At the night show. Ooh, fucking right. Oh, all right. See ya. Like Boosie, say my name. Bitch, I'm I'm my dreams. Losing. Talk to God. Put me through it. 
Because I thought this was Michael tequila. Michael has been saying, McKay, you cannot hang out anymore. We are, this is what McKay, this is not water. I'm this saying, is tequila. That's I'm tequila. Saying, this is tequila. <laughs> it's me. I don't know how I'm about to survive this. If anybody is looking for me after this, this is the last place you I'm at the I'm so glad that I live like seven minutes away. <laughs> because this is insane. Look out, this ain't even a shot though. That's what I'm saying. This is the worst part is if you can shot. Six burgers. We just took a shot. You sound like a true producer. Hey, ladies, now, bro. I mean, I'm Everybody hanging out. Honestly, just left when you Like, yeah. If y'all not coming like this, you gotta call me back. Cause what? Nah, hundred percent. That was the last That shit rolling up right now. That's the last one. All right, you gotta send it to me. The queen. I just want to let y'all know this is the queen of the night. The queen of the night. So y'all, Draco did not want to get on stage and twerk. But I done seen his moves on TikTok. What? Okay, here's the thing though about TikTok. TikTok is just me in the house by myself with my ring light. I'm not gonna do that in front of, what? He could've got on the stage. No. Did a little heel toe, little chicken head, little, little snap roll. <laughs> You know, I don't got it on me. One thing about me, I don't have it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't have it. Okay, we you know. know. One is on my head. <laughs> LA just now getting on lemon drop martini, so it was giving happy hour. Why not? I don't even know what where we we are at. The volcano. It's giving vlog era. Do you know? Oh, they want to see some real tea? Yeah, because they had eight. Right at the pot? Let me see. Just finished being boiled. Get into that. Oh! Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Nope. <laughs> it's giving yeah. in. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's this for me every time. I hate that. Like, I haven't cut this damn camera on. Hi. Uh, I haven't cut this camera on in so long. Happy Thanksgiving, today is Thanksgiving. I got a late start because I woke up at 12. Sorry if I'm moving too much, I'm trying to gather myself and find out where I'm going. I just came back from getting alcohol and cake. And so, now I'm here at my friend Marcus's house. 
Oh, I'm trying to find it. Look at me. I was trying to rip the damn price stickers off and ended up sticking them on the damn bag. Okay. So I didn't cook this year, so I'm pulling up to my friend Marcus's house for Thanksgiving. And I may pull up to, to more of my friend's houses, depending on how long this goes. Marcus actually said he got a 7 p.m. hard out. Look, everybody got to be out by 7. That's so funny to me. But I'm here for that. So let me try to find him actually in... I'll be back. I don't even know how to do this. Oh, what? I didn't know you had to hold your hand. This giving a real housewife. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, man. What you got to say? We put a life, we put a love. We put a food. Yeah, we put a money. Oh, for real. We put a good We're feeling grateful. We're feeling grateful. We're protected. We're loved. We're honest. We appreciate you. Mm. All the words, all the adjectives. We got that. I am an adjective. Okay. Uh -oh. I might be. If I flip it to me, we're gonna. Yeah. Even though I'm not in it in none of these pictures, but I love y'all. Good morning. Um, I am currently enjoying this acai bowl that I made. Um, yeah, <laughs> it is so early. I am enjoying this bowl, like I said. And then I'm watching silent camping videos on YouTube. That's been my vibe lately because I don't know, I just have a really bad desire to go camping. So there's this guy on YouTube. Um, I think his, I can't pronounce his name because it's Korean and it's like Korean characters. But I, if I'm not mistaken, you pronounce it Ryu Camp? I don't know. So he makes these like silent videos where he films his whole process of, you know, finding different camping spots to set up in. He usually stays there for like one night. The ones I've been watching lately, he's been in the cold, in the snow. And this one that I'm watching, he is, it's sunny outside, but he has a little dog, a little small poodle, toy poodle that he takes with him. And it's just interesting just to see like, um, ooh, just to see like his process of, of how he makes food in the tent, the type of equipment he has to even warm the tent up when it's cold outside how he finds electricity, how he feeds his dog. The only thing that he doesn't really do is shower. Like I said, they're only usually here for like one day. So then he'll just drive back home or whatever. So I'm guessing, of course, he'll probably shower then. But this is very interesting. I'm learning a lot. But anywho, um, besides that, today, I'm just gonna be doing like some editing. I do have a couple TikToks that I'm, I wanna make, so I'm gonna spend my day doing that. I did laundry yesterday. So I'm gonna put my laundry up, put me some new sheets on my bed, stuff like that. I don't really have to clean up because I cleaned up yesterday. 
I do clean my bathroom every day though, so I'm gonna clean my bathroom. And I'll probably head out later just to run some errands, but I don't really have much to do. I went grocery shopping yesterday. I did everything I needed to do. I actually wanted to vlog that yesterday, but I left my camera. I was doing too much anyway. But I did film a get ready with me. I'm a day in the life for TikTok, so hopefully I have that edited by today. This is really good. So I have like this powder that I put in my smoothies that I made. Um, I just bought a whole bunch of different powders from Simply Wholesome. So I have like ashwagandha powder, maca powder, um, ashwagandha powder, maca powder, sea moss powder, wheatgrass powder, mulein, I can't pronounce it, but mulein leaf powder. This is all my little, I'm gonna make a video on that one day. How about that? I'm gonna just make like a TikTok or something so y'all can see. But I'm really invested in this. Like this man has like a cooler that acts as a freezer and it's so cute. And he put all his food in there so that, you know, he could cook it. He has like a, this is so fire. I just wanna go camping, I really do. I wanna go camping. I wanna go camping in the snow, in the desert. I just need to start taking advantage of all this agriculture and scenery in, in I about to say it in Atlanta, in California. That's my problem right now. Is that mentally I'm still in Atlanta and I don't live there no more. I be paying attention to everything that's going on in Atlanta. And I don't live there, that doesn't benefit me. I need to pay attention to what's going on around me. I need to experience the things that's going on around me. Um, lately I've been hanging out with my friends out here a lot, which is good because it took me a long time. Um, LA is just a, a a very interesting city. I feel like if you were, if I were in another city like New York or something on the East Coast, it would have, I would have found my tribe a long time ago. But out here, it's just different. It's so many different types of people. People have their own motives and it's not necessarily a bad thing. We all moved out here to further our career and better our life and just, you know, just have that experience so I'm not mad at people wanting to be associated with certain people or being around certain groups because that's the name of the game if you want that life you have to be around it you have to put yourself in that position to be able to obtain it one day you know what I'm saying so I'm not mad at it but um just finding people that mesh well with the type of person that I am and the type of person I'm becoming and the type of person that I want to be um, has just been a task and I've been here now uh, a year and two months I mean two years and two months two years and two months I've been living in LA and now I feel like I've found like my core group of friends who I feel comfortable with hanging out with um, it's important because I always be telling people your friends do y'all only go out to the club are y'all just party friends do y'all things, do things outside of that in the daytime? Do you see your friends in the daytime? Like, that's very important to me. So I feel like now I found my core group of friends who kind of like the same things I like, and um, we even work together, which is cool, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm here for that. Also, I've been cutting back on social media. Now, I have, can't just fully get off social media for one, because like, I, I obviously run my business and hold myself with social media. I think the problem is just the stuff that I'm consuming. So I just go on there to do what I gotta do. I might scroll a bit, just see what everybody is doing, but man, I got offline for about seven days. And even though that's not a lot for somebody who's never taken a break from social media since I've been on social media, since I was like 17, 16 and I'm 34, that week really opened my mind up to just endless possibilities. I was doing things that I've been trying to do for months. I've organized certain things and it's forced me to just respond to my text messages because I never, I never respond to my texts. I don't know, like I just, if I'm honest somewhere else, I don't want to place my, like, I can't put my brain in six different spots at one time. So like, if I'm focused on this, I can't be focused on the conversation that I'm having with people because usually if you're texting somebody, it's a continuous conversation. I don't have that type of energy 24 hours a day. Like, that's just what it is. Um, 
I'm just trying to further my, you know, figure out how to further my business. I really want to get better at creating content because that's something that I genuinely want to do. I enjoy it. I enjoy looking at it. So I want to, you know, do that. I want to get more into my fashion content. Um, skincare is number one. So I do want to start doing like skincare content, but I can't do that if I'm always consuming other people's shit or just on the phone all the time or, you know what I'm saying? I have to get up and get out and, and experience these things. And I love that's what I love about YouTube too, because I say this a lot, but it's just helping me get out the house too, because it's giving me a reason to get out the house. I have to film content. Like I want to film this stuff, so I need to get out. But um, yeah, so I've been like cutting back. If you haven't seen me on social media that much, that's why. I also want to just use my social media to kind of promote um, my businesses. Um, and just leave like my personal life to YouTube. I'll add some here and there, but the whole purpose of me vlogging is to show my life, show what I do all the time. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm, I don't know, like I want YouTube to be my focal point for that. So yeah, I know I haven't released a vlog in a minute, but I've just been busy. I've been busy. I did the Soul Train Awards, did some music videos. I got some new clients. I've been a lot like I did some personal content, you know, it's been really good, really productive. I will say that the day that I got off social media and deleted all the apps off my phone and just like focused, like I've been on my shit and I love that for me. So I think this week I'm going to probably do the same thing because I am um, trying to get back into the gym before the new year. I want to build my routine before the new year starts. So that way, once it's here, I'm not like trying to start a crash diet, you know? Um, I have six months since I turned 35 and I want to lose at least 20 pounds before then. I want to start gaining some muscle tone, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I need to tone my body and just get healthier, just get better at taking my vitamins and just drinking more water. Like even now me doing it, making this acai bowl instead of making pancakes. Switched out my pork sausage, my pork bacon for chicken sausage. <clears throat> no bacon, I haven't really, I, I like turkey bacon, but whatever. I just been trying to swap, you know, make lifestyle changes. Like I genuinely want this to be my life. I don't want it to be like a diet. That's why I moved here. One of the reasons why I moved here, just because I know that LA is very um, health conscious and it's easy to be healthy out here. But I think my, you know, being on the move, moving around, I always use that as, as an excuse to eat unhealthy because I'm I'll go to drive through or go buy food, and I just want to make sure that I'm making healthy choices even when I'm doing that. Like if I'm on the run, on the go. And I know I have a busy day, I need to plan ahead of time. Like if I know I'm not gonna have time to stop or, you know, I need to pack a lunch. I need to meal prep. It's so many different things that I just wanna do and I need to get a move on it. And I am going to do that. I'm, I'm excited because I am coming to Atlanta on the 19th of this month. I'm going to Atlanta for a Christmas holiday since I didn't go for Thanksgiving. I'm sorry, I'm so into this. He's he's currently in the woods and he's cooking dinner. It's nighttime. He's making some sort of like blue crab and some bulgogi steak. It looks like it looks like like bulgogi. Oh the dog. I can't. This is this is listen. Watch me watch me. I'm, li I'm just taking notes. I'm literally taking notes on everything, just how he has. I'm watching, I'm, I'm gonna find some more people, but I really love how organized and just how he has everything together on this thing. But I am going to be a camper. That's on my list. I wanna, I wanna camp. Oh, look at him, got the white rice going to beer. Grilled marinated crab. That's what he's made in Bulgogi. And he has it with rice, with white rice. And see, he's in, since he's in the woods, he's even eating the food with gloves on. So that, cause he probably doesn't have a place to wash his hands. That's so smart. Anywho, I'm gagging. I don't know why, but uh, I want to camp. I want to go to, I want to learn how to surf. I want to skate again. Roller skate, not a uh, skateboard. I'm not, I have much balance in my life. I want to start roller skating. I just want to be active. I want to play tennis. I want to, um, I want to play tennis. I, do, I told myself that I wanted to um, 
play a sport. I want to incorporate some sort of, sort of in my routine. So tennis and boxing is on my list. I found a really good boxing class that my friend goes to. He has unlimited classes for 125 or 150 a month. I think that is what? I'm doing that. So I guess like once I, I'm, I'm gonna go shopping for a new gym today. I'm not coming back in this house without a new gym membership. So I'm gonna, I'm leaning towards LA Fitness. I do want John Reed, but I'm not a fitness expert just yet. But the LA Fitness um, membership comes with like a year commitment. John Reed, you pay that per month. So I, you know, just have to figure some things out, but that's what I have going on. Um, I'm gonna try to vlog more of my life for you guys. I'll be forgetting my camera at home a lot just because I'll be moving so fast, but I'm gonna figure out a system where I won't forget it. I'm gonna put it in my bag and just leave it in there with the charger. But yes, this will probably conclude this vlog video. Um, I really do appreciate you guys for supporting me. I do wanna get my audience bigger, so if you find it on your heart, please like, share, comment, Subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family, post it on your social media, I mean, whatever, make a billboard. Tell them to follow my YouTube channel. I feel like it's gonna get better and better and better. And you know, at least y'all, the people that's here now, y'all can say, oh, I remember when he first started doing that. And then boom, I got 4 million subscribers and I'm out here doing my thing on YouTube, you know? But yeah, I shall see you guys soon. I'm gonna start my day, finish my little acai bowl, watch my video, and do my little chores and errands. See ya. Would it wanna be ya? Cause I wanna be myself. Ooh, I got bars. I'll just land. Bye. See, see, uh, don't touch.